What's going down, everybody? My name is IceFuse, and we are here with my good friend, Peter. Hello, people of the YouTubes. You may know me as say Peter. That? What? Why do you say hello, peoples of the YouTubes? Because peoples of the YouTubes is basically my intro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hello, peoples of the YouTubes. Yeah. My name is IceFuse. This is Peter. And this is going to be our weekly podcast. We can compare it to Wife Wednesday, but I don't really want to say that because he is not a girl. I'm not a woman. And neither of us are wives. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm married. 15. I don't know how old he is. but I'm 16. Yeah, he's 16. I'm 15. We shouldn't have wives. Anyways, <laughs> so that's... This is not India. <laughs> yeah. So that's the, uh, that's the big thing that we're going to try to compare this to. Um, where we kind of get together once a week, even though we're uh, good friends and we talk just about every day. Um, when we actually have the time to actually do this, which takes a lot of time. Right, right. But uh, anyways, so uh, that's not much of a hassle. Anyways, so this is going to be a um, podcast of sorts, but we want to make this kind of a YouTube-friendly um podcast so basically what i mean by youtube friendly is uh, many many people do not like to watch two nobodies talk about their opinions on youtube for an extended period of time being we'll say an hour so what we decided we're going to do is shorten this down to about uh half an hour and we're not going to do it all in one fail swoop um each and every episode is going to be split up into into about three parts um each one uploaded as a different video. So, I think you can catch my drift, how, where I'm going with this. Uh, so, each video is going to be about half an hour long, or ep episode is going to be about half an hour long. I'll probably separate it into a bunch of different playlists. Um, just three videos, you can continuously watch through them. And uh, I think every ten minutes around there, we'll say something along the lines of... Um, there's part one, thanks for watching, click the annotation, whatever, um, you catch my drift. Anyways, so, today we're going to be talking about Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty stuff, um, and that kind of thing, so, yeah, we're, we're, let's get going. Yeah, let, let's get going, well, uh, first I just want to say that, like, uh, we are going to use gameplay so that you guys don't get bored and you have something to see, but if you guys just just one to just like drift away of this and just listen to it and do whatever you want to you want to do. Uh, we just put the gameplay there just so that you guys get distracted. Uh, the gameplay is like probably going to be mine even on Icefuse's channel uh, just because it's easier for me to get gameplay. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's basically what and I want I to suck say. The game too, so. <laughs> I didn't want it to be mean and say that's that. You don't suck that bad. Oh, I suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> You're new to the game, man. Like, new <laughs> on PC. Yeah, well, whatever. I, I like Daisy. Uh, that also brings me up to my next point. I do want to say that we will most likely go through a cycle. We'll talk about, we'll say, Battlefield 3 this episode. Next week, we'll talk about Daisy. I'm thinking. And then the week after that, we'll talk about Minecraft. And yep. then I think we'll swoop back around to Battlefield 3, maybe a new game. Uh, instead of Daisy. Yeah, we we could actually that. talk about uh, whatever we feel like. I mean, we could actually even talk about like game companies or whatever the heck we feel about it. But we want to sure. keep this game related because I think that it just gets more interested because this is YouTube and we both have gaming channels. So. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and then I think, I think the two games that I kind of do want to stick with is Battlefield Three and Minecraft. Yeah. If that's alright with you. Yeah, because sure. Because Minecraft sure. is updated very, very regularly. Yeah. And I like to have Minecraft on my channel just just because. Sure. Um, alright, so, let's just get into this. So, basically, me and, or Peter and I, were uh, talking for a while. We were both playing Battlefield 3, and we were just kind of talking about random stuff within the Battlefield 3 scene. And uh, we thought that it would be a really, really good thing to record. Uh, record us talking about it and that kind of stuff and so that kind of brought up the whole idea of this podcast and this idea came up within I don't know the last hour yeah and we're already <laughs> recording it so um, you know I think it's I think it's been something that's been in the back of my mind either way 
Um, Me too. But you know what? Let's just let's just kind of keep. Well, let's just get this show on the road. We're already five minutes into this, and we haven't talked yeah, it anything matter. about I mean, Battle. We could 3. do it forty-five minutes with fifteen-minute uh, parts. It doesn't matter. We're cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think like let's just get this show on the road, just like you said, and let's just start this. So yep. All right, yeah. let's get going. Let's so first thing we were talking about was um, how Battlefield Three is. I don't know. It's like because. Let's see here. So, Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty, it has such a... Okay, I shouldn't say it has a long lifespan. It's got about a one-year lifespan, because each and every year, a new Call of Duty comes out, and um, obviously, the days are different, whatever, but every year, there's a new Call of Duty. With Battlefield, with the Battlefield series and with DICE, they don't put a new Battlefield 3 game... Or no, not Battlefield 3 game... They, do, they don't put a new Battlefield game out every year, but they do have different ways of trying to keep you engaged with the game exactly. throughout its lifespan. So we'll say, obviously, because right now... I don't want to hog the, hog the time or be an attention hunter right now, but uh, I'm just going to... I just want to quick say this. So, obviously, uh, Battlefield 3 and DICE is coming out, and they already have a set schedule of their DLC and what they're doing. So I think that's their way right now of trying to keep their lifespan and their attention to them centered and so that they don't lose interest and so people don't lose interest, whatever. Um, so I definitely think that's the big reason why many people aren't drifting to Call of Duty and why it's just so good um, because they act they're actually supporting the game all the way through the lifespan. Whereas with Infinity Ward... Everybody knows Infinity Ward is a terrible, terrible <laughs> developer, and they don't support their games. Yeah, it's just fact. It's just a fact. It's not something that yeah, people because yeah. like really... uh, Infinity Ward and Activision, they just uh, they, they just la launch their games like back to backs, just so that when people get tired of their latest god game, they just get a new one, and it's all new, so people will love it again and will always buy it and. Since they know that, they will just keep doing that, and I think that that's the mistake that they're doing, and like, now some people are probably thinking, wait, but Infinity Ward and Activision also launch DLCs and stuff to keep people interested. Yes, they do that, but they actually even do some really dodgy DLCs most of the times, and there's a lot of stuff about their DLCs, because like, they, they get launched at, at some really, uh, like, um... They, they don't really launch it at, like, some really technical datas like Battlefield does. Like, Battlefield has their, their model. They have that model for those DLCs. They have them done. They just go, and they are just going to improve them until they get released. And they are going to keep on improving that game until those DLCs get released. And they are going to work on that game until that game wears off and Battlefield 4 comes out. This talking about the case of Battlefield 3 where they have all those DLCs uh, starting on Pack the Carcan which was the first DLC but you can actually buy with limited edition Battlefield 3 and ending on Endgame which is going to be the last DLC that is going to be kind of close to the date of Battlefield 4 arrival of the Battlefield 4 arrival so mm -hmm. so with one more thing with Call of Duty um, now like obviously you've got to have DLC. Now nowadays you have to have DLC, or else people are just going to leave your game. You're not going to be a successful game all around. You absolutely have to have DLC, no matter what game you are. I don't care if you're Duke Nukem. I don't care if you're um, Need for Speed Most Wanted, the new game that's coming out um, in a couple months here. I don't care who you are, you've got to have DLC. If you don't have DLC, your game is going to die. I guarantee it. I guarantee it and um black ops black ops one did very very well with their dlc i'll say I'll, I'll go ahead and say that with battlefield 3 they did great with back to Karkinand or whatever the name is They're, they have yeah they have maps do they what else do they have they have, they have maps they have guns, a couple vehicles um vehicles all that they basically yep. involved the whole game in the, their dlcs they just don't add like two maps to the game they just they add you a few maps and they add you guns 
cards, they add you camos or whatever, they just keep you keep you immersed in the game and interested on it. They just give you something really good to just keep playing, keep trying all those new stuff and keep getting interested and trying that new stuff on that new map or that new stuff on that old map to see how it goes and all that crap and it's something that makes the game really interesting and by the way guys I just want to say that we are not bashing COD or whatever basically me and I uh, we, we both like both of the games I mean I'm not such a big fan of COD I'm a bigger fan of Battlefield just because I play it more it's not that I'm bashing it or whatever uh, but I like both of the games I just think that there's some stuff that Activision and stuff they just kind of do it wrong and that DICE are actually like proving to be a better company with their games and supporting their games better Right, right. So, um, all right. So, there's a couple different things where I do want to add that. Um, so, we'll go with Infinity Ward. We'll take Infinity Ward for example. Yeah. Um, Infinity Ward, like I mentioned earlier, they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible with their support for their game. Like Modern Warfare 2, it took them what was it? Four months. Four months for one bug. You know what that bug was? The care package glitch. I know, I remember. The care it. package glitch. It took them four months to figure that thing out. They couldn't release it immediately. DICE, on the other hand, if something is wrong, if something's bad with the game, if there's something breaking the game, they go in there, they fix it right away, and they send it out to whoever needs whoever needs <coughs> the fix, right? Yeah. They do that immediately, as well as Treyarch. Treyarch has great support for their game. Yeah. I don't mean any game that they make. Treyarch is great with that. Infinity Ward needs to improve on that. Treyarch, on the other other hand, what they do wrong, um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> what they do wrong is like um, I, I honestly I don't, don't remember what I was going to say. Treyarch is a great all-around company, though, with their games. Um, yeah, but so they, they I just don't do support it that well. I think yeah. that was what well, you were going to say or something like that. I defi- yeah, they don't support it as much as DICE does because they've obviously got... They're, they obviously have planned everything out up until Endgame, yeah, yeah. which comes out right before Battlefield 4. So it's definitely going to keep people interested in their game. Treyarch, they, they support it. They don't support it to the maximum potential that it could be supported at. Yeah. Um, but, but they are still yeah. a little bit better so. than Infinity Ward. So. Oh, a lot of better. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity Ward needs to step up the game in terms of support. All right, so we're about 13 minutes into this first episode. Um, go ahead and click the annotation on the screen to go to the next part. If you want to go click away to another yeah. video, that's all right. Um... Yeah, I, I'm just, just happy that you, you want. check uh, this video out. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys have actually enjoyed this first part of our first episode on this kind of podcast thing. We still don't really know what to like call it or whatever, but I'm sure we'll find out a name or some, of some sort for it. So yeah, if you guys actually yep. enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe to the both of us and like and do all that good stuff. So yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching part one. See you next time. See you next time, guys.